Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Hearts of Iron 4 as Germany, where we win World War II. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna try this. I don't know if this is gonna work because we've already conquered Poland, but we're gonna try to do the Molotov Ribbon Trope Pact. Um, I don't know what this is gonna do, um, but the idea being that we go for the alliance with the USSR, we get the event Unholy Alliance, and then we don't have to worry about the USSR, and then we can just wrap up this campaign and continue playing Hearts of Iron 4 with a different campaign. Now. I will admit, I was very frustrated in the last episode because um, naval invasions are weird. And uh, But I've had like four or five days to play. I played a solo campaign as France. Um, we're doing the multiplayer campaign, so I have a much better understanding of how things are working now. And uh, and that's good. So we have very low supplies over here and resistance is futile. Uh, this was this was making me very upset. Um, um, are they doing it now? Did they fail to do it now? I forget. I, uh, let's see, so resistance is futile, we had these four guys, and apparently we had failed to conquer these 11 to 17 infantry-ish. Be better if we had better intel. Um, we need naval superior, we need naval superiority, which we have, right? Um, these guys are, no, I just actually relocated them to, to go actually take over in the Netherlands. Um, let's grab you. Um, you, where do you click on here to go to you, go to, right click on the name, okay, so there's got 10 ships there, and then we've got these guys who apparently, is that little indicator, I think that means that they're engaged in combat, and yeah, they are engaged in combat, distance to arrive, 43 km, Average strength. A thousand. Four hours ago, 1,000 close air support came from Svealand. Zero was shut down. We're attacking a submarine with close air support. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, no. It doesn't, actually. But uh, let's do. We'll appoint a commander based on skill, and we will say. Search and destroy in that region and see if we can track down that sub. Then we'll combine these two navies. We'll go for naval superiority here. We'll finish taking over Cyprus. We'll take over some of the other islands. I understand how to do it now. We're going to keep up our bombing of the UK. We've got 800 air superiority guys. Just, you know, making sure that we've got air superiority, air superiority. Up here, we got strategic bombing and naval strikes. Um... Enemy radar efficiency is at 0%. We've got 2,500 active bombers. I hate how these things start off on no retreat. I think that that's wrong. Uh, we're doing naval strikes and port strikes, but I don't think there's any navies here. Is there an easier way to identify, like, where boats are? We have resistance to occupation. Hmm. Despite my resistance is futile group, like, trying really hard to, to do that. How about we do this? How about we take resistance is futile, and this is, this is nuts, I know. This is nuts. The template resistance is futile is only nine combat width. It's made up of what? Five cav with military police. Any particular reason to make it bigger, do you think? Wait a second, why was that one only 9 combat width? You have a bonus that gives a, a reduction in size? Oh yeah, you do, okay. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to... Um, select all divisions, and then we're going to change division template. And we're just gonna just... This entire division template. This may be a mistake. Resistance is futile. No additional equipment needed, we will gain... 414,000 manpower, lots of stuff. 99 units will become resistance is futile. And they will focus on resistance is futile. That is their job. So, um, that seems fine. Um, as far as experience goes, I think that that boned us, possibly, on experience. Doesn't really matter too much, though. Because these are non-combat units. Meanwhile, the German theater, we've got these guys here who uh, just conquered that. And these guys are going to go to this port in Madras. They have no order. We're going to... Um, have them all hang out in this port for now. We're going to take 14 of our, of these troops. Uh, let's see. I want to... 
It'd be so cool if there was like a better way to organize them. I wish you could like organize them by type or like like any kind of organization really in this list would be convenient. Maybe I'm just missing it. But most importantly, I feel like the, the most experienced units need to be at the top of the screen. But anyway, we're going to take, um, we're going to split in half, so we're down to 12. And then we're going to get rid of, uh, two more. Preferably low experience guys. Or maybe even people who have the preparation bonus. We're going to say, go over here. So we have a 10 commander army. Skill 4, Panzer leader. Um, our best generals, we actually have some 7s. Erwin Rommel, Kurt Student. Kurt Student is currently leading at what? So signing another army, is that you? No, that's Eric von Man Man Van Manstein. Where the hell is Kirk Stewart? Kirk, Kirk Student, excuse me, is here. Um, let's replace this leader with somebody else. And then we go to our 10 stack. And we put our, one of our best generals in charge. Look at all these things that he's got. Out of supply, minus 50. Hills, forests, reconnaissance. And maybe what we want to do is we want to switch over to um, Marines, right? Because we're going to be doing naval invasions. Maybe, just maybe, that's a good idea. So, um, we'll create a division, or edit this division of Marines. we got the experience to, to make a, a good division. And I think we still do want to have combat width of 20, because the general, you don't have own combat width. Minus 10, do you? No, but you've got forest movement, hills movement, Commando, Trickster, Attack Over River. Those things are all fine. Um, we have unassigned divisions. Why? Why are you unassigned to anything? Go join that. And, well, it's really not the right army for you, is it? Go join, um, for him, go join him for now. Anyway, um, so, yeah, I think we stick with the 20 combat with commando units. So we're gonna add in more marines. And we want... Recon, of course. We want... Engineer for the attack and the movement, of course. Support artillery, um, I think that it's just the soft attack is really valuable. Maintenance company, I'm not so sure that we're that concerned about reliability with infantry. In fact, the reliability... Damn it! Son of a bitch. Um, the escape key should not just back out of everything you've just done, it should back out of the menu you were in. Recon... Engineer... Yeah, okay, so, reliability. Like, where can we see reliability? Reliability is 0%. This bonus, yeah. I don't, I don't think Marines have reliability issues. Do they? Or is that more of like an equipment failure type thing? I don't know. Anyway. Why can they not be parachuted? You are allowed to use parachutes. I say. No? Probably because they're not paratroopers, be my guess. Anyway. Uh, I think we take the support artillery. Maintenance company, no. Support rocket artillery is even more soft attack. Um, takes away some organization. It's a lot more production cost. Takes rocket artillery, which we're not producing. And I think we're just going to stick with this. So we're going to save that. It's going to cost us 60. Um, we're going to grab these 10. And we're going to redeploy them as marines. They're going to need a little, little tiny bit of training, maybe. A little bit of exercise. Get them up to uh, regulars, at least. Just suffering regular attrition. Full attrition, 5.5%. Exercise multiplied by 0.92. Oh, damn, that sucks. So, Werner von Fritsch is not very good. Minus 8%. 
it's a 0 0.98, 0 0.92 multiplier. That that's garbage. That's not very good at all. Got a naval combat in the Baltic Sea. Yeah, we know about that. We know that the uh, naval supply is is very bad here. Um, I think I'd like to set up two simultaneous naval invasions. We're gonna grab you guys. Um, let's redeploy you as Marines as well. Um, and then, let's see, we're coming in from one front, so there's only gonna be 480 supplies. We really only need four of these guys. Are you guys not part of a- yeah, you're unassigned, so we'll create a new division. They can be part of the German theater or whatever, it doesn't make any difference. For now, why don't we grab that leader? Um... I mean, they're, they're only trained, but I think we'll have a better chance. We need to get the Navy down here before we can actually do anything. But we can, we can set up the command orders. Where's a port? Closer port? That's a closer port. Why don't you guys B relocate to here, to Adana. Come on, let's finish this naval combat. It's just one damn sub. We kill it. Can you please find it? Insufficient intel. We keep on like spotting it, but then failing to kill it. Exact position is unknown. Naval combat is something that I'm still very not sure of, but I don't think one sub can do much. There are six ships over here. Six Swedish ships, SS somethings. What are they? These are submarines. I think I'd like to get these guys to join up, so let's have them all move to that port. Combine and then sort by skill, leader, leader. We have a six on C. Um, we have a four. Number of ships in first contact, 25%, 25%. They're all, they all appear to be about the same. Except you've got a better spotting chance. Alright, so you're on search and destroy here. Actually, you know what? I don't care. There's just, whatever, there's some subs there. You're gonna do naval superiority down here. And that's going to give us the capacity to, to do our naval invasion plan. So we're going to go from here to here. Okay, uh, first we... Click to select invasion source, right click, 10 divisions, 9 armies. Um, and then I never understand why when I, I... It does that every time. Okay, I want to show you again. I select it, I left click, I right click. And then I press escape to like deselect the army and then it always pops up saying are you sure you want to cancel this invasion no i'm trying to deselect the army deselect the escape key right any any other time you have an army selected you press the escape key it deselects the army so why is it always trying to cancel my order i don't get that anyway i don't think there's any point in sending 10 guys though so let's split and then take off Let's say, um... Hold. Unassign. Unassign. Cancel mission. Hold the division. Nope, they're still assigned to it. Alright, let's do it this way. Grab you, delete. Split. Get rid of a guy. Um, plan the mission. Right click. There we go. Four divisions, nine armies. And then the other guys can just kind of... Yeah. Sure, I want to delete my order. No, I don't. And I know now from hovering, you can hover over this. It's only going to take 28 days to, to prepare this invasion. 
And it's 40 Marines with Recon, Artillery, Engineering, and it should be the right combat width, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully we'll take that. Since we're only using four divisions there, that means we have six divisions available that we can use in the Netherlands. So, unfortunately though, can you command like multiple theaters like from across huge regions? Like, what if I just took these 10 and gave them to him? And then we just prepared another. Grab these 10. Grab these 10. Just these 10. And I want to go down. I just want the. Uh, I can't, That canceled the exercise. Let's go with these six. Oh, wrong way. These six. And we create another naval invasion source. Left click. We're going to go try to invade here. And here. I've already established naval superiority. Six divisions, zero transports. Okay, good. Um, and then I just say we enact the plan. And no, I don't want to cancel the division order. Now this plan is going to take 42 days needed because it's a it's a more complicated naval invasion, right? So like I said, I was very very frustrated the last time I played, and people people get really frustrated with me too. They're like, read the tooltips. Do you realize that I can't just stop and read the tooltips every time I'm playing a game? Like that's something you can do. You can do that in single player because you're under no pressure whatsoever to commentate or to make things happen. So. You just do whatever you want, you know? We have naval combat here, but um, hopefully it's enough to maintain superiority. Oh, look at that. Wow, you can actually see who they're engaging. Sunk zero, two assisted kills, sunk one enemy ships. The outcome is undecided. Is there a way to expand this out and see more information? Like, what's this scroll bar for? Whoa, that's a lot of information, okay. Well, why are they down here now? Sunk, okay, so they're dead. Gotcha. That's what that scroll bar is for, that's for dead ships. Why is there an exclamation next to you? The fleet engagement rule is do not engage the enemies. The fleet will try to avoid engaging enemies so it can move through the provinces, including enemy ships and battles, unless we are spotted and the enemy shoot first. Why are you trying to do that? Are you trying to go get repairs? I'm guessing that's the case. Is there, like, some ships that got damaged? Yes. Um, and you're set to high priority repaired. The fleet will decide to return to home base on its own when the ships suffer mild damage. Your home base is... Kurzim. Control right click a naval base to move and set a new home base. Can I right click it to see where? Or can we just go find? Where's Kurzim? Way the hell up there. So you're trying to go all the way back up there to repair. Why don't we just say um, we want to control right click a naval base. Your new naval base is Alexandria. Why don't you just repair here? And so now, what is your? What are you gonna do? Did you automatically? No, no. What if you go to the next seat? No, you're complete idiots. Okay. So I need to be more proactive. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna put my navy in a new area, I need to make sure that I rebase them into a better location. Otherwise, they will maintain that stupid order to go all the way back up there and then come all the way back down here. So they should repair. 0.1 percent per day. It looks like. This naval base has a level 8, each level providing 0.07 strength repair maximum with 30 ship off a 80 capacity in the base and local supply level 100%. The total hourly maximum repair power is 60%. With 16 ships needing repair, each regain 0.03 each hour. Repairs estimated 2412 January. It's going to take over, over a little over a month. So they took quite a bit of damage. Plus they're green. They're fresh. So, combat, no combat bonuses, but no combat, you don't get combat penalties with ships, unlike with regular troops. 
Let's say medium priority, because um, I don't want them to be leaving that as often, and I want to make sure that uh, we don't have any naval supremacy right now. One other thing we could do is there's a setting on these ships where we can do automatic split off. Allow to split option, make the most damaged ships split off on its own to return to the home base for reparation while the main fleet is still doing its current task. Let's risk doing that so we get our naval superiority again. Hopefully it did it. It's not doing it. Okay, well I enabled it, but I guess I need to cancel the reparation task. These ships are being issued commands to repair now, and these ones are being issued commands to not repair now. So that means that we should resume, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, you are back to hold. Okay, so, you, yeah. Get out there. And that will allow us to prepare our ten final days of invasion and see what we can do here. All right, cool. Well, hey, you know what? We're learning a lot. Um, how are we doing over here on this naval preparation, this invasion? It's coming along. We're going to invade all of the Netherlands because there's lots of lots of resources here. Um, I don't think we really need the resources, but look at all that rubber. Like, are we doing okay on resources? Rubber. We only we have a surplus of nine. Um, we're importing 104 though. So if we can if we can seal all this rubber from the Netherlands. That'll free up our civilian factories, which we can use to make more military factories. Um, we have missing equipment production, the rocket artillery. Did I make a template that used rocket artillery? I might have. And according to this, we're on low manpower again. Is there any way we can get some more? We already have extensive conscription. You know what we need to start doing is um, our primary infantry units... Who, who are we fighting with the most right now? Let's do this. We have 256 infantry divisions, but it doesn't say specifically which type they are. I think you can see it here. 16 divisions. 160 of the infantry division. It's a lot. And they're mostly spread out in the Russian front. Let's make sure we have the field hospital. We do not need military police on the non-resistance is futile. We, we want the field hospital. How do I not have the goddamn field hospital? Holy crap. Seriously? Okay, so like I said, I've been playing solo campaigns and I've learned a lot. Like, signal company, field hospital. Holy shit are these things important. So anyway... I'm gonna take a break here. We're gonna to continue to uh, to improve. We'll we'll resolve our manpower issue by by getting the field hospital research done as soon as we can. In six days, we're gonna get, get this flexible line working on field hospital, and then uh, we're gonna reappoint and rebalance our our armies and stuff. And uh, we're gonna win this war. It's not gonna take too many more episodes, but um, I'm really looking forward to playing again as another country. So um, hopefully, just you know, just bear with me, okay? This is my this is my very first true on full on Hearts of Iron Four campaign. So. You know what? You're frustrated sometimes, I'm frustrated sometimes. It happens. But I hope you're having a good time, because overall, I'm having a great time. I love this game. It's awesome. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. See you soon.